Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. I hope you're doing well. I hope um, it's been okay with the, the lunar eclipse that we had on May 5th. Um, I hope you guys are coping well. Um, and if it did surface a lot of emotions for you, just know that it is um, for us to examine what surfaced in this lunar eclipse, just so we can work through it, we can process it all, and we can be on the other side of this. So if it's been particularly difficult for you, hang in there. I completely get it. It's been rather difficult for me as well, but I'm looking forward to what's on the other side of this lunar eclipse and what are our learnings and what are things that the universe and our spirit team wanted to showcase for us with this uh, full moon and Scorpio that just took place. Uh, so having said that, uh, I'm going to just dive right in. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the overall love energies around the Scorpio Collective. I'm then going to do a spread um, where we tap into the energies of what I call your soulmate or the person that you're manifesting. This could be a brand new person if you're single or if you, if you want somebody from the past to resurface or you want to try again with someone else, take it as it resonates, right? So everybody's situation is unique. This is a general, situ general reading, so please take the messages as they resonate. But essentially, the person on your mind. So for people who are not thinking about somebody from the past, look at that, Ace of Cups in the Tower. Uh, definitely uh, could be somebody new that you're manifesting, so what I call our soulmate. Um, and then for, for a lot of you, this soulmate is somebody that you already know, but maybe you're in a no contact situation with them. So let's see what shows up. Or this could be just somebody from the past or someone that you're with. So take it as it resonates. Okay, but let's start by what is the overall energy around the Scorpio collective when it comes to love at this given point? Ooh, Queen of Cups. I like that. Strong Cancer energy. Four of Pentacles. And we'll take one more. The Wheel of Fortune, yes, this is the kind of emotion that I've been getting with this lunar eclipse and the full moon in Scorpio that just took place May 4th, May 5th, um, that, you know, there's a big change underway. And I know that um, a lot of you commented on our last uh, full moon love reading, and thank you so much for your love and support. All my amazing subscribers, thank you so much for engaging with the content. And I know a lot of you resonated with this inner knowing that, you know, change is on its way and something is opening up for you when it comes to your love life. And that is super exciting. I think just the fact that we know something is underway, I think a lot of us are holding on to that emotion, holding on to the change that is being, you know, set in motion by this lunar eclipse that just happened. I also feel that there is this strong energy of nurturing and looking after your own self because you know, Scorpio, that you need to look after yourself in order to be able to ride the change that's coming your way. So you're holding back. I feel a lot of you might have retreated your energy from the world, maybe spending more time with yourself um, because you're kind of like prepping yourself for what's to come is what I'm seeing. This is all in anticipation of this big change with the world with the wheel card. Yeah. Uh, let's get one more row and then we'll go into energies around your soulmate. Okay, the sun. Nice. We like that. We like the sun energy. Of course we do. It's the happiest card in the deck. But I feel this is more about illumination. Something has come to light or something will come to light. Something has surfaced for you to examine. Um, and it's really, I think you're enjoying the process. Just when I said that, look at that, the six of wands. It's almost like after a really long period of time, you are seeing your own self. Like, you know, often in life, we're waiting to be seen by other people, acknowledged by other people, heard by other people. But I feel that there's been a part of you that you have held back from your own self. And now with these changes in the stars and the changes in our emotions and getting closer to ourself, I feel that you have illuminated something to your own self. And now you're kind of shining in that illumination. You're examining what was surfaced, what was brought up. Oh my God, the wheel and the world of, oh my God, I keep messing up my words. The wheel and the world card often show up together in my readings at least. And in most readings, because, you know, they signify big chapters closing out and big new cycles opening up. So this is looking really good, Scorpio. I feel a lot of you watching can feel this, at least at an energetic level, if not at a tactical 3D level just as yet. I think you see this coming and I think this big change is going to make you really happy. It's going to make you feel acknowledged and seen by your own energies, like a part of you that you had shut down or closed off. 
I think you're finally acknowledged that, acknowledging that part of yourself and the sun is shining bright on this brand new illumination on what has surfaced for you. Oh my God, this is looking really good, Scorpio. So just to summarize, a big chapter in your love life is coming to a close because it's making room for something new to come in. You are finally acknowledging all parts of yourself, Scorpio, the ones that were even, that are still perhaps scary to examine, that make you feel very helpless, that make you feel out of control. But you're finally shining some light on that. And you're finally shining some light on where you've been holding yourself back when it comes to love because of your own fears, limiting patterns, limiting beliefs, whatever the case might be. But I feel you are finally connecting to your source, which is water, which is emotion. And some of you actually might benefit from spending a lot of time in water, going for a swim. Um, you know, if you have access to a beach, like going to a beach, I think this time is really about self-care, healing, nurturing. And I know it sounds like a bit of a cliche, but it really is about being there for yourself and nurturing yourself while this big change takes place in your life. Um, so really cool uh, opening messages in terms of overall energy for love. I'm now going to go into energy around you when it comes to love, what's outside of your control, what's within your control. And then we're going to take a look at your soulmate. So once again, this could be somebody new, someone you are with, someone you want to be with, somebody from the past. Take it as it resonates. So let's first check energy on your side when it comes to love. Okay. I mean, I wanted to take four, I wanted to take three cards, but four have fallen out. So I'm going to respect it and take it. Outside of your control is the magician. So there is something getting manifested in your um, in your environment, Scorpio, somebody, something, some situation is being brewed, is being worked on by the universe. So it's kind of like you sent your request to the universe and now this is outside of your control because the universe is busy trying to deliver what you've asked for. What you do see around you is, okay, you don't see it because you've got the blindfold on with the two of swords. Um, there is a there is an awakening and i think we already saw that in the previous spread right like because a big cycle is closing and judgment comes right before the world card so i feel right now maybe the energy that you're with you do feel this sense of liberation you know like how she's kind of had this massive release and maybe with this full moon and scorpio that happened may 4th may 5th you probably felt like a lot of emotions came through. Some of you might have felt very emotional. Maybe you were crying a lot. Maybe it was hard to hold back and hard to like contain all of those tears, all of those emotions. But it was all part of the grand plan because something is being brewed for you. What's within your control is this Four of Cups, this feeling of perhaps, you know, boredom, not being happy with the state of your love life. And that is to be expected. And that is why this big churn is happening in your life, because we need the Scorpio Collective to come out of this feeling and to just turn around and look at this rainbow of opportunity that's coming to you or is around you, but you don't see it right now. So this is really exciting. Let's uh, look on the side of your soulmate. What is the energy around your soulmate when it comes to love? What is the energy around your soulmate when it comes to love? I do uh, feel very excited by this magician. I really feel like some of you who have been manifesting and manifesting with a lot of clarity, you will see outcome. You will definitely feel the outcome uh, and you will definitely see this show up in the 3D world really soon. So let's see on your soulmate's side. Okay. So energy around your person, the moon, strong cancer energy. So the period of mid-June to mid-July might be quite significant. And I think we've been seeing the summer as a very significant time for love for most Scorpios. King of Wands, okay, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So fire sign energy. Some of you might know who this person is. If you don't, uh, someone new is coming in. Page of Pentacles. Interesting. This is, this is really cool. I think like this person, right? So your soulmate, they do have the opportunity to offer something to you, but I think they have some fears or they're a little bit confused as to how to approach you. Um, so we'll pull some clarifiers and we'll see what's happening. Um, okay, interesting. What is the mutual energy currently between Scorpio and their person, the soulmate energy? What is the mutual energy between Scorpio and their person? Okay, let's see, let's see. 
outside of their control and within their control. Okay, mutual energy, Knight of Pentacles. So I definitely see somebody coming in, um, somebody with a very stable offer in love, um, but somebody is evaluating how they want to go about it. So maybe it, you are expecting this to come in pretty quickly, but I think this person who needs to come in is still figuring out some of the parts that might feel confusing, that might feel unclear. What's outside of their control? Ooh, Ace of Wands and the Seven of Wands. And what's within, uh, sorry, what's the mutual energy that's outside of your control? I think a new beginning is definitely guaranteed, Scorpio. Just be a little bit watchful that we're not being defensive when this new energy comes in. And I think we got this message a few readings ago as well. That don't push out a new opportunity because a new opportunity is definitely in the works for you with the magician card, with this king of wands. I really feel this is like a new person coming in and somebody who's going to put in the work to be able to fight for this connection, to be able to fight for you, to be able to fight for stability in this connection. What's, ooh, look at that, Ace of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Just when I said that, very, very stable, long-term kind of connection coming through for Scorpio. Ace of Cups, I'm sensing more like new person kind of energy, but obviously Aces always indicate a new beginning in love. So this could be a new beginning with somebody that you already know, or this could be a brand new person. I see King of Wands, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, I think the dominant suit here tends to be pentacles, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but generally energy that is here to stay, you know, that wants to build something for the future is what I'm getting. Eight of Swords, um, Eight of Cups, Queen of Wands, Hierophant. This could be somebody that you walked away from or they walked away from you, um, but they still have a lot of desire and affection towards you and they want to build something with you. But I think they've been anxious about this whole walking away business. Maybe they did not want to walk away, but they didn't see any other option. So they did take it as it resonates. But for a lot of you, somebody new and an opportunity for new love is definitely coming in. Let's go to the romance angels and let's see what they have for you. Show us what Scorpio needs to see when it comes to their soulmate and overall love energies. What's coming through? Children, your love life is being affected by children. You could be coming across uh, somebody who is very youthful, very childlike, maybe younger than you, or maybe you already have children with this person and this person wants to come back. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Be cautious, okay? This Seven of Wands and this codependency card on top of that, I'm getting like either somebody that you're dealing with um, is facing some kind of addictive patterns that they need to break or these emotions are being surfaced for you Scorpio so that you can heal through whatever felt like a codependent relationship in the past honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together I'm I've really been getting this in the Scorpio readings that something about travel something about when you're away from your usual surroundings is when your manifestation starts to come through and trust that the situation is calling for you to have faith this is that sort of like surrender to the universe kind of energy and I feel that something's going to become very visible to you when you're like retreating from your everyday life and you travel somewhere or you go somewhere um i don't know that's what i'm kind of getting let's go to the angel answers deck and see what they have for you so this deck has yes or no cards so if you do have a question on your mind it's a good idea to kind of think about it right now you can pause the video if you like and then come back to it and if i happen to pull a yes or no card then that's a direct message from your spirit team as a as a response to your question so let's see what's coming through the situation will improve. So whatever's on your mind, Scorpio, the situation will definitely improve. And I think overall, if you've been having a hard time with the emotions that came up during this full moon, if you've been struggling to let go of someone or let go of a situation or let go of a past disappointment or what feels really hard to move on from, just know that spirit is telling you that the situation will improve. You will definitely feel better. A year from now, We've been seeing this card in the Scorpio readings and I have a feeling that you're meeting somebody like very soon in the next, I would say, six to eight weeks or so. Um, yeah, I've been sensing June, July quite a bit for Scorpio and I feel like this is that relationship that will really crystallize into something very significant next year. So 
to give you an example, it could mean that you meet somebody this summer and then you are married next year, next summer. So something like that is what I'm picking up. Or, you know, you've been with someone and uh, next year you move in together or next year you want to start a family with this person and you get pregnant, something like that. Big happy changes. There you go. The situation will improve all the way to you'll really experience a big happy change in your love life. And for those of you who've been really struggling to understand why something did not work out in the past or why someone walked away or why you had to walk away from someone, just know that spirit is telling you there is something better out there for you. So, you know, you always have to kind of trust that the situation is calling for you to have faith. And even though it might be very difficult for you right now, Scorpio, I definitely see somebody coming in and the universe wanting for you to have more faith. I do see two love options coming in, a king of pentacles, a king of wands. One person could be perhaps somebody from the past. One person could be somebody new. Uh, but I feel that this person who's coming in, and we can go a little bit more into their energy, I feel they're trying to iron out something in their life before they make an appearance and before they make a bold move. Let's see. Um, so show us the future energy for love between Scorpio and their soulmate future energy and love for Scorpio and their soulmate. Nine of cups. Okay. Six of cups. All right. Soulmate card and the three of swords. Interesting that this three of swords is kind of landed on top of the big happy changes. So I feel what's coming in will feel like a major wish fulfillment. And for a lot of you, yes, I do see somebody from the past maybe making a comeback. Uh, and something that really hurt you and upset you, but there could be a big happy change on this connection. So take it as it resonates. But for a lot of you, I do see major wish fulfillment, major happiness coming in with what feels like a soulmate connection. And this will help you move away. And this will finally help you understand why you went through everything that you went through in the past and why it did not work out with people from the past because it had to work out with this person. And look at that. We've got the three of cups. So I am also sensing strong reconciliation energy. So for some of you, this could be somebody from the past coming back. But for a big proportion of you, I really think that there is the opportunity of brand new love and something that's going to help you understand why it did not work out with all the other people in the past. Let's get you some guidance, Scorpio. What would you like Scorpio to do more of to manifest this abundance in their love life? What can Scorpio do more of to manifest abundance in their love life? Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands. Look at that. Move forward, Scorpio. Your direction is like move on, move forward. So I'm not saying obviously some of you, you know, you might have somebody from the past coming back and it's your life. You can see how to work with that energy in the best possible way. But I feel for some of you, you really need to focus on forward momentum and forward momentum with a significant amount of speed attached to it. Because I feel the universe is brewing this brand new love connection, this brand new opportunity in love. And they really want you to have faith, to trust that the situation will improve and there are big happy changes in your overall love life. And they need you to move forward, Scorpio. Um, Queen of Wands, you're very attractive. You're stepping into your power. I feel very soon, if you haven't felt this energy already, you'll feel a lot of people getting drawn, getting pulled into your energy. Let's close out your reading with um, some messages from the Lovers Oracle. Let's see what they have for you. Okay, well, that's too many. So I'm going to put that back. I'm just going to pull out one or two. Okay, hold on. I'm sensing this one. All right. Passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Exactly. This is exactly that Queen of Wands kind of energy. Stepping into your power, that magnetic, seductive allure of Scorpio. That is what surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. I think other people around you are going to be super attracted to that and they would want to enjoy it as well. So I'm going to leave it here, Scorpio. Hope uh, this helped. Um, and if you resonated with this video, please do hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.